Boudoir photography is so much more than just sexy pictures. Take a deep breath, deep breath. <gasps> what? <laughs> There's a purpose for boudoir and it goes beyond what people think about it. The nudity is like, it's a second thought. You don't really think about it by the time it actually gets to being in front of the camera because of how comfortable you are. Everyone needs to do it and experience something like this. Boudoir photography is an intimate form of art. It's not something for the masses, but it's something for them to reflect on and see like how beautiful they looked at a certain point in their lives versus what they see on a day-to-day -day basis. And we built this business together. We also have a tremendous amount of trust with each other because like my husband said, we want to make women feel great and empower them and remind them of that self-love. We always tend to nitpick about what we don't like. I try to make you see what you don't like in a different light. We've always talked about the body as being an art form. Just knowing that this is another type of art has inspired me to continue with this. We have clients who come here to do it because they had a bad sexual experience, they had trauma in their lives, they've been told they'll never be beautiful, they've been told they will never be sexy. And doing a, a boudoir photo shoot is something that will empower you, make you kind of like rise above this. We're told essentially our whole lives, both that we are irresistible sex objects for other people, but also that we ourselves cannot enjoy being sexual or being sexy, and that if you enjoy that, you're a wide variety of bad names. Every single person has a God-given right to feel good in their body, to look in the mirror and just think, yes. I came about doing makeup for Faraz. It actually started from me becoming a client of his firstly. I'm just a completely different person. I take risks I wouldn't normally take because you, you broke out of that fear that was holding you back, which is a lot of people is insecurities about the way that they look. Okay, so now with your left hand, just move, put your hair behind your ear and look at me. Pop your hips. You know, this is not really just a matter of taking pictures in lingerie. It's about empowerment, body positive. It's about showing the person in front of me how beautiful they can be in whatever setting they are, regardless of what they think about themselves. To be completely bare and vulnerable and still feel empowered and still feel beautiful or sexy, that, that's something special because you have nothing to hide behind. Do you mind if I touch your feet? Have I lost clients because I'm a male photographer? Probably, and I wouldn't know that. Creep doesn't have a gender and neither does professionalism and it is important in fact to reach out to a couple of different photographers and actually have conversations instead of simply going with uh, well this person is a female so I'm automatically going to go with them because that for a variety of factors could backfire on a person. All right. So For me personally, it was about self-love. I was really struggling to be happy when I looked in the mirror. Even when I got in front of the camera, I didn't like how I looked. And through that experience and through seeing how gorgeous those photos came out, it helped just accept the body that I'm lucky enough to be born with. <laughs> wow. It takes a lot of courage to do it because it's out of everybody's comfort zone. So boudoir could be a once-in-a-lifetime experience, but it's not something you do every day. If you at any point in time have not been comfortable in your skin, this is going to be something that helps with that. And if it scares you, good, do it. <laughs> uh, and that, that's really all I can say.